Shadow's Jake here. Let's take a closer look. Now, what we got here? Hmm, right. Hmm. Nah. Hmm, nah. Nah. Hmm. Tempting. Nah, looks rubbish. Yeah, how about it? So, let's take a closer look at this figure here. The Invisible Man clear version and the Invisible Man standard version. Two figures made by Funko under the brand of Reaction Figures. Now, first of all, we'll just have a quick look at the articulation. I'm just going to move the camera down slightly. There we go. So, that will just focus. Well, it never does want to focus when I ask it to, so, you know. Oh well. So, first of all, the head can move slightly, but this is very stiff because I have just opened this. The shoulders have articulation, both of them, and the legs can move up and down at the waist. Both of them. So there's five points of articulation, which is pretty good. Now, let's move Homer out of the way. So, let's have a look at the detail on these figures. So, they are supposed to look like kind of Star Wars, Kenner kind of figures from that kind of era. Um, which, this is what I like about them. They're not, they don't really look like... How, that, how can I put this, like, you know, maybe a character options 5-inch Doctor Who figure. They just look like a retro figure, like maybe a Daypol figure or, as I said, the Kenner figures. Um, so, you know, they look like how they are supposed to. So they come in cards that would have, you know, retro figures would have came in. The blister packet, well, yeah, carded blister packet. Um, so this is the one that the standard version comes in. Very nice, nice picture of the Invisible Man. Um, just says the Invisible Man logo at the top. Universal, oh, that focus is awful. Universal Studios Monsters logo at the top. 14 plus, good thing I'm 14 plus, eh? Warning, choking hazard may contain small parts. Yes, I'm sure you wanted to know that. Adult, collectible, not a toy. And that same sentence in some other languages. And on the back, it tells you the other figures you can get, um, which I don't have any of them because I don't collect stuff like that. Reaction figures, collect them all, and some legal gerfumple at the bottom. Right, so that's that one. The other one is exactly the same, but it has a nice sticker on the bottom that says it's an exclusive. This is for the clear plastic version. And there's the little thing that comes in. Now, this version is the exclusive version, the clear version. Um, so actually, this one's actually probably rarer uh, for some reason. Uh, but this one is clear, obviously, to represent that he is invisible, which, yeah, is a pretty nice idea. And this one, you can see that he's got his bathrobes on, his uh, pyjama trousers and a cravat kind of thing sticking out here, and some sunglasses, all topped off with gloves and bandaged head. Now, if you haven't seen The Invisible Man, I would recommend going to see it. It is a brilliant film, and these two figures are, um, you know, they're a good representation of the character that is The Invisible Man. Well, in retro form anyway. I do have a slightly more detailed figure which does look more realistic, um, which I will show in another review. Um, so yeah, I guess that's all I've got to say about these figures. If you've got anything else you want me to review, put down in the comments. Um, and overall, these figures are brilliant. And I would recommend you get them. You can get them on eBay for maybe about £15 each. And yeah, thanks for watching guys. And I'll see you on the next one. Shout out Jack out.